President Joe Biden claims his economic plan is working. He traveled to Virginia today to doubt the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years. But conservatives say liberal policies are hurting Americans and they point to rising inflation and higher costs across the nation. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, as Americans continue spending more for things like gas, groceries, and mortgages, the resilience of the U.S. job market has been a major surprise. Unemployment last month, 3.5%, matching a 53-year low. But most economists think the economy will slide into at least a mild recession by mid-year. Good afternoon to the Steamfitters Local 602. President Joe Biden speaks to labor union workers at a shop in Springfield, Virginia. Just this morning, we got some very good news about the American economy. The president happy with new numbers that show the U.S. economy grew 2.9 percent last quarter, getting a boost from resilient consumer spending and underscoring the nation is not in a recession. And I'm not sure, and I mean it sincerely, the news could have been any better. Economic growth is up. But the economy is expected to slow down in the months ahead. That's due to the Federal Reserve's hiking interest rates, aimed at crushing the worst inflation in four decades. Also making headlines, former President Donald Trump. Meta agreed to restore his Facebook account after a two-year ban. It could help his campaign for president in 2024. Although the New York Times reports that more than a third of Republican National Committee members want a different candidate to win the GOP primary. And Students for Life says Florida Governor Ron DeSantis won their recent straw poll. It was taken at the National Pro-Life Summit, beating President Trump. The organization's president, Kristen Hawkins, wrote, Expectations are high that candidates will compete to show their commitment to protecting life in law and in service. Separately tonight, the White House is also continuing its push against anti-Semitism. Second gentleman Douglas Emhoff left today for Poland and Germany to remind people about the Holocaust and remember the victims. And he's also meeting with Holocaust survivors. In addition, part of his visit will include a roundtable with Jewish, Muslim and Christian faith leaders on interfaith dialogue and understanding. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.